What's up, fams? We got to talk about this. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that. Now, Kanye, what is you doing? Now, as you guys know, yesterday, Kanye put his goddamn foot in his mouth, right? And I've been telling you guys all week. I said, look, I'm okay with Kanye supporting Trump. Like, if he wants to get them Trump pickles, let him get them pickles. I didn't have a problem with Kanye until what he said yesterday. Now, I agree with Kanye in a way. Here's the thing. You guys were saying, dumb, what the hell is going on? Are you on that coon train? What's happening now? <laughs> but in a way, he's right. But to Kanye, I would say, if you say slavery is a choice, then getting robbed is a choice. So that means that when your wife was overseas and them dudes ran up on her with them things, made her freaking get in a bathtub with them things jiggling in a robe and she had to give up that $4 million ring, that was a choice. He's painting this whole thing as the choice was like, yo, you can either be a slave or you can go to McDonald's and get some ice cream. You can be a slave or you can go to Disneyland. You can be a slave or you can just lay down in the cotton field and just watch YouTube on your iPhone. Why is he trying to paint it as that? Yeah, people had choices, Kanye, right? The women that were slaves, you know what their choices were when Massa freaking busted the door like T. Grizzly, boom, 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 and Massa wanted them cheeks, they had a choice. Either they give it up or maybe Massa was going to sell one of their kids and separate their family. Those are some choices, huh, Kanye? So please stop. Yes, there was a lot of choices in slavery, but... Those choices don't sound too fun, Kanye. Chris Brown responds to this whole thing, and he goes, this is just entertainment to y'all. I don't give a F this man is a clown. Our song just went platinum, but F that. Come on, bro. If any of these flunkies got a problem, see me, please. Please, black people, do not follow this dude on his path to destruction. Whatever help you think I need, get it for him ASAP. I'm a fan of this man's music, so what he says is listen to and internalize. Wake the hell up, Kanye, please. Slavery was a choice. What? Now, X is X Tentacion responds to this whole thing, and he said, bothers me that everyone is entertaining this BS conversation about slavery. It's almost as we are not grateful for the freedom that we do have. Stop idolizing the era you didn't have to struggle in and let's just continue to unite the world regardless of color now it's hard for me to really analyze x's tweet because like on one hand he's saying this whole thing is bs does that mean that you think kanye's on some bs because yeah i agree yeah there's a lot of choices but them choices didn't seem like fun so yeah this whole conversation is definitely some bs now, please, to the white people that watch me, man, many of people out there, please, listen. This ain't no let's bash white people video. We're just speaking on history. Kanye West said something yesterday, and it sent ripple effects around the world. And this type of stuff has to be spoke about because you have very impressionable kids and young people that are listening to this stuff and they then may go yo kanye west said slavery was a choice them not really being able to internalize and and understand yes there was choices but they ended up pretty bad them not being able to understand that can then have an effect on the lives of the young people that are coming up and that's why this type of stuff has to be spoken about man Listen, I don't know about you guys out there, but the way I was raised as a kid, my mom told me that I could be anything I wanted to be. Now, I always kept that in my mind. Now, there came one point for me when I was playing high school football and I realized like, okay, I'm not going to be able to go to college being a high school football player. Let me go get a job. <laughs> I realized I was wasting my time and it wasn't going to go anywhere. So I say all that to say this. I was given confidence that I could be anything, but when you have that confidence that you could be anything, you also got to be realistic and say, ah, my dream is not going to work out for me. Let me go try something else.
Now, when I was growing up, I never thought about racism or some invisible white man or someone stopping me. And hell, I don't think about that stuff now. There may be people out there who may tune into my video and hear me talking. And they're like, who's this negress? I'm out of here. I don't let that slow me down. There's many people that watch me all across the world that are different races. And we all come together and we make up the gang. So what I'm trying to say is don't let your skin color hold you back from your dreams. Yes, I know there can be struggles out there, but push through. Don't think about it. Work hard and you might be able to become what you want to become. And I say might because I wanted to be in the NFL and I even had my signature shoes like already like drawn out and stuff, but uh, that didn't work. <laughs> But uh, I'm doing very good on YouTube. You guys let me know if you want to come in section below, man. Follow your dreams, but understand your dreams may not come true. But also, don't let other people stop you from your dreams. Do you, booze? I'm out. I'm Dama's Life.